next one. TJ Brown versus Shailian Nerdam Biek. Do you want this one? You want me to take it, Dan? Uh, you got this one. I kind of want to take the Carlos Olberg one. All right. This one, I love that Carlos Olberg fight. Absolutely. This one is a um, pretty one-sided matchup, if I'm being real. Both have really grappling-heavy approaches, but the big difference here is the striking. Brown has outstruck four of his last five opponents in the UFC, has a plus-one striking differential, 43% accuracy. Nerdam Biek, only one and one inside the UFC, has an extensive 37-10 and 10 pro record, only 28 years old. But if you do a little deep dive on him, it's very, very padded, um, and he's not hiding yeah. anything. He has 15 people with no wins that he's faced, uh, and, and his striking is very, very poor. He fights off his back foot, kind of slow starter. You know his strikes are all being thrown to set up his takedowns. Also, um, doesn't really throw combos at all, a lot of looping punches. His grappling basically is the way he's going to win a fight. It's, it's very good, but Brown's grappling is – as good, if not better. So um, can, the grappling cancels out. TJ Brown just picks him apart on the feet. Yeah, I, I agree. And I would even maybe give a slight edge to the takedowns to TJ Brown. Yeah. Uh, I think Nerdan Biak kind of kind of fooled us a little bit with that record. It's, um, yeah, no, he's definitely not like the – like he lost that fight pretty one-sidedly to cool about. And his, his striking's so bad. Not good. Yeah, very um, poor. I, I like TJ Brown. I think TJ Brown's good money on this one. Yeah, TJ Brown. What's he sitting at, Dan? You got a number for me? TJ Brown's at a minus 200. I would eat up on that. Eat up on that. I like that a lot. Put that in your parlays. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that a lot. The next one, there's good money in this fight, too. So we're both agreeing. We're both going to go with TJ Brown. Good price. Good price.